This is the Ridge Report, Niagara University student-produced newscast. Get a glimpse into campus news and upcoming events. Today's stories, The Voices Josh Logan, The Taming of the Shrew, Open House, and a Niagara Sports Update. Welcome, I'm Chelsea Anderson. And I'm Kevin Myers. This past Wednesday, in Galley's multi-purpose room, students came to watch and listen to Season 5 contestant of The Voice, Josh Logan. While everyone enjoyed their free Tim Hortons, Josh performed his guitar covering artists such as Kenny Chesney, Maroon 5, Ed Sheeran, Justin Timberlake, and more. He also shared his new single, Bad Decisions, which is available on iTunes. In addition to the audience cheering him on, he also had the crowd laughing in their seats. Two of our own NU students were even able to join him on stage and perform together. After the performance, The Ridge Report's Maura Christie caught up with Josh. Hi. <laughs> My name is Josh Logan. I'm from originally Boston, Mass, but coming from Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, and I played some music this evening for the fine folks at Niagara University. Uh, if I was going to do a duet with any artist, I would definitely be Stevie Wonder. He's my number one influence. Uh, on top of that, Christina, my team captain, Christina Aguilera. I just released a new EP. Um, not all the songs are up on iTunes yet, but you can get Good Times right now on iTunes and CD Baby and other digital uh, media downloading sites. Uh, you can go to the website, joshlogan.net. That's where all the links and all the um, awesome pictures, <laughs> bio and stuff like that are. So. On November 5th, Niagara University Theater will open The Taming of the Shrew, a comedy by William Shakespeare. Niagara artist and residence Adriana Gatto will direct the show, taking a country twist on the classic English play. Taking the audience back to the 1880s Colorado, The Taming of the Shrew follows the story of Bianca and her pick of suitors, but she can't marry any man until her older sister Kate is married off. Unfortunately, Kate has a reputation to be a shrew, and no man wants anything to do with her. The Taming of the Shrew is sure to be a wild ride for the entire audience. Last Saturday, Niagara University held their second open house of the year. Over 200 students traveled to campus to go on residence life and campus tours, learn more about their majors, sit in on at an academic table talk, and watch all of our Niagarans express their purple pride. It was an exciting and eventful morning for all of our students, faculty, and of course, our future Purple Eagles. Now here is David Yarger for a Niagara University sports update. The NU women's soccer team split a pair of games last week, defeating rival Canisius 1-0 in two overtimes. Haley Price netted the game winner with the assist coming from the foot of Laura Art Ortiz. The Purple Eagles then took a tough loss against Monmouth 2-0 at home Saturday afternoon. The team wraps up regular season play October 28th on the road against the Maris Red Foxes. The Purple Eagles are currently 8-6-2. The NU hockey team took a loss and a tie over the weekend against Robert Morris. Tying the first game 3-3, Dan Kalenda, TJ Sarcona, and Elvin Carlson all scored goals in the tie, while Guillaume Tehran made 38 saves in net. The next night did not fare as well for the Eagles as they lost 8-2. Darian Plouffe and Sam Renneker scored both goals for the purple and white. NU will look to rebound on the 30th at home against Cornell University. The women's volleyball team also split this weekend, losing to Manhattan 3 sets to 1, then rebounding the next day to beat Iona 3 sets to 2. Nicole Mathis accounted for 31 of Niagara's 97 points on Sunday. The ladies' next match is the 28th on the road against rival Canisius. Although Halloween is about trick-or-treating and who has the best costumes, this Halloween is about NU athletics, with several teams in action such as the cross-country team at the MAC Championships, hockey on the road versus Cornell, men's soccer at home for Senior Day against Fairfield, women's volleyball at Quinnipiac, and women's swimming against Youngstown State at home, it should be a spectacular day of sports at NU. That's all for now. Tune in next time for more info on campus news and upcoming events. Or visit our website at www.niagara.edu. Or check out NU's other video programs, The NU Clue and The Ridge Note. I'm Kevin Myers. And I'm Chelsea Anderson. Thank, Thank you, you for watching, watching The Ridge Report. Report.